So many people don't feel that they can be authentically themselves with their doubts and fears and questions. For whatever reason, there's a sense in the church that you have to perform and you have to be this kind of like person to be uh, welcomed in the community. And that doesn't make sense. Like in the scriptures, Thomas out getting lunch and they saw, the rest of his, the disciples saw the resurrected Jesus. And he comes back and he's like, I'm not gonna believe that. Like all of them are saying, we saw it, we saw him Thomas. He's like, forget it. Like I gotta put my hand, you know, in his hands and I gotta see his wounds. What I love about the story is you have like this deconstructing Thomas and the church doesn't reject him. I mean, think about how frustrating that would have been for an entire week to go by and like everyone's having like this high experience and there's this guy who's like, I wasn't there. There's space for Thomas's doubt in the church. There's space for the, I don't believe it. No, like this is not true. Like the community holds space for that. And Thomas is given permission by the community to be where he was, not where he wasn't. Um, and because of Thomas's doubt, we have a second resurrection story of Jesus coming in. Jesus shows up to him. The rest of the community gets to experience Jesus again. He's like, stop doubting and start believing Thomas. And doubt is a gift to the community. Right? Your questions are always a gift because truth is not something that you need to hide. Truth doesn't have to be defended. And this is what I really think in our world where we feel like we have to defend Jesus and Him in all these places. Truth just exists. Like real truth, capital T truth. Like Jesus just is. So if you just hold out long enough, it will obviously be true. It will obviously hold itself up. You don't have to hold truth up. It just stands on its own. And it's recognizing that if there are people in community who are fearful of their truth being dismissed, they just need to know that no, Jesus is the answer. He's the end. He is the beginning. He's all of those things. So anyone that's in a place of fear, let me say this. Sorry that that's what the church has created. A bunch of Pharisees, <laughs> a bunch of older brothers in the prodigal son story where we don't celebrate, you know, the return of the prodigals. And, and that's unfortunate. Find some good followers of Jesus that can hold space for you and bring all of your questions. Like all of the ridiculous, silly, dumb, childish questions. We have to be a place that allows that and, and doesn't laugh or mock or question your faith, but actually encourages that because your faith will only grow when given space to bring those things. And doubt provides um, reassurance for those who believe. Because what I see over time is if you stick with people with doubt over a long period of time, Jesus will show up and he'll show up in a, in a miraculous way. So just give it time. Don't be anxious about it.